Hey folks, Matt from writeoftheimage.com. I've got a question here from Philip. The heading of the email is D750. So obviously we've got a question about the Nikon D750, that nice full frame, very popular camera. Hey Matt, I watch your videos on YouTube often. Thanks for putting them on. I do have a question. I have a Nikon D7000. I'm thinking of upgrading the D750. Uh, am I too late to do that? Is there something better on the market? Uh, do photography as a hobby? Just hate to waste my hard-earned money. Thanks, Philip. Thank you for your question, Philip. And I guess right to the to the punch here. Uh, no, I don't think you're too late. Uh, is there something better on the market? Yes, there always is. <laughs> In this case, the D850. Is there an upgrade to the 750 yet? No. Uh, I expect it probably to be coming maybe end of this year, probably next year at this point. Um, is it a waste of your hard-earned money? No, the 750 is a fantastic camera. As evidenced by its continuing popularity, it still ranks very, very well on sensor performance. It's a nicely built machine. I, I really like the 750. However, let me throw a little twist in here for you. For the price of a 750, I would get, this is, uh, instead of a 750, I would buy an 800E or an 810. Reason is you can get, especially the 800E, you can get these for a really good price now. The 850s come out, it's an amazing camera, and it's replaced them, uh, but you can get an 800E now. Um, for very good deals, refurbed or used, and an 810 even. I've seen people get really good deals on those. I just find that the little, I shouldn't say little, the big added boost in resolution, the 36 megapixels versus 24, one heck of a juicy, rich power file. And you, you can shoot it. The cost of memory is cheap these days. You can export it to a lower size file, and it just kind of basically cleans it up for high ISO. In other words, it's going to punch at the same high ISO performance as a 750, if not even better. Um, it does actually really good 1080 uh, video, both the 800E and the 810 do. Um, and I just I just think it's a great value proposition if I'm comparing that to a 750 right now. It's the way I would go. Nothing wrong with the 750. That's what you like. Great camera, smaller form factor, smaller... Uh, little probably better build quality, but no problems with the build quality in an 800E or an 810, just a little higher spec build quality. Um, but I would go 800E or 810. Let me throw it back to you guys. What would you guys do? Do you agree with me? Would you get an 800E or an 810 over the 750? Do you disagree that the 750 is not worth buying at this point? I think because the price has dropped and because it performs so well, it still is. Um, but what would you? What do you guys think? What would you do? Let's help out Philip. Looking forward to hearing what your feedback is in the comments below. And uh, stay tuned. Thanks for your question, Philip. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.